scientists confirm the existence of alien entities 2016, wait till you see what they've uncovered. A former defense minister has accused the world leaders of concealing aliens. Paul Hellyer, who was a Canadian minister of defense from 1963 to 1967, confirms that he knows of at least four different types of aliens that exist on the world today and that they've been visiting the earth for thousands of years. He knows that many of them are alive. He has seen the tall whites. He believes that there are aliens also working and helping the US government. There are many people who have seen UFOs. I have personally seen a UFO when I was living in Canada, in Montreal, Canada. Uh, when I was living in Canada, there were only a total of 10 million people. That was the population of Canada before I left in 1970. Now, I was small, I was going to elementary school and we were riding our bicycles around our cul-de-sac in our neighborhood and there were farmlands behind our area. And one summer evening, we saw something that was not a plane, it was not a helicopter, it definitely was a UFO. And it was just silent, parked on top of a, an electrical tower. We had, long, uh, we had uh, very heavy cables passing behind our area and it was, of course, feeding uh, the greater Montreal area from somewhere else. And um, we just sat there looking at it for about 20 minutes. And it freaked us out of our minds because uh, we didn't believe that it could have been a helicopter or an airplane or anything like a weather balloon, anything. It was just standing, sitting quietly on top of that electrical tower uh, above it. So, um, of course, many people have viewed them. Um, no, I have not seen an alien, and I do not wish to see an alien. But here we have a very serious person, a very credible person, coming out with disclosure, as have a lot of countries. And, of course, the United States has not yet. And he's, of course, criticized in the U.S. for not coming out and telling the truth and keeping it covered up. And he's accusing them because of the fact that a lot of these aliens are hostile and a threat to the world population. But it's not just the visible entities that are a threat, it's also the invisible terrestrial alien entities that are a threat and have been discovered in 2016, as it turns out. We're not alone in the universe. Scientists at Thunder Energies Corporation found and proved the existence of intelligent life just outside our atmosphere. Thunder Energies Corporation traded OTC, is the uh, lettering TNRG, OTC, has recently detected visible entities in our terrestrial environment with their uh, breaking advanced technology Santilli telescope with concave lenses. They have a trademark and patent pending by Thunder Energies. And this corporation has previously presented confirmations of the apparent existence of antimatter galaxies, antimatter asteroids, and antimatter cosmic rays detected in preceding tests. This is alarming and it's breaking news. Thunder Energies presents evidence for the existence of invisible terrestrial entities, abbreviated for ITE, of the dark and the bright type. This is an exciting discovery. We do not know what these entities are. They're completely invisible to our eyes, our binoculars, or traditional Galileo telescopes, but these objects are fully visible in cameras attached to our Santilli telescope said Dr. Ruggiero Santilli, CEO Thunder Energies Corporation. He goes on to add, while its deep space capabilities are well documented in, in scientific journals, it was only by chance that our telescope detected invisible terrestrial entities 
within the Earth's atmosphere. Scientifically, this should be impossible because when ordinary matter and antimatter come into contact, they annihilate one another. So what are these invisible terrestrial entities, these ITEs, that have been observed and photographed? These entities defy our current scientific knowledge. Some appear to move at highly erratic speeds, while others appear to be almost stationary. Some ITE appear as dark entities, while others give off a luminous glow. To say anything beyond this would be speculation. What I can say is that these entities are invisible to the human eye and to conventional telescopes and binoculars. They can only be observed with our telescope. Dr. Santilli has developed his telescope with concave lenses, also for the study of other forms of light besides antimatter light. Thunder Energies Corporation is supporting research for the possible conversion of matter light from its conventional form with positive index of refraction into a form with negative index of refraction without its necessary origination from antimatter. TEC International Pending Patent. I'll leave a link below for you for this. Also, the upcoming video has to, ha to do concerning live entities and ghosts of real humans. It was explained to me by a priest monk just yesterday and I think it's important enough for me to inform you about. That's because of the fact that they're around us even though they're invisible. Their aim, from what the priest said, is to harm humans, to even kill them, but there are ways that we can stab them off and protect ourselves. That's the upcoming video.